Thank you for allowing me to uh, share this evening with you. And I'm very especially uh, gratified to be able to uh, be here when you have invited uh, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard to be here and to be recognized for who she is, what she's done, and what she's going to do in the future. You heard uh, Congressman uh, Salwell uh, speak eloquently and also describing both she and himself as uh, upstart or start up. Start up, <laughs> Congress people. But make no uh, you know, bones about it, uh, they're start ups too, and they're also upstarts. Because you, know, you have to be a little bit of an upstart to be able to have some attention out of 435 folks out there. And they have been doing a wonderful job. And you, you really have to be very comfortable and um, grateful the kinds of attention they're paying to the community. To the organizers and to the uh, founders uh, of ICC and also of HAF, I have to tell you that civil rights and having a voice in this country is critical. February 19th, 1942, President Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066 that allowed the military to take communities such as the Japanese Americans, citizens and non-citizens alike, out of their homes into concentration camps, American style. There was nobody in Congress that said no. Today, you have many voices that will speak up for the Hindu, the Hindu American community. You have that because you are investing in a group, HAF, and half, they don't go halfway. Make no bones about that. They go 100%, and you heard the, the examples and the kinds of um, achievements that's been created over the last few years. And you've also seen tonight many elected officials who are here to pay their respects. That's number one. Number two, to be seen by you, because number three, y'all vote. Isn't that right? So, organizing around your needs, organizing around a voice that you have to have to speak up for yourselves, but also look for voices in Congress and also create voices for yourselves from your own community is critical. And I just have to tell you that um, when um, Mihir uh, Nagani had mentioned the whole, the litany of accomplishments, uh, you have to be, you know, really, really very proud, but you also have to be continuously vigilant because even in Congress, we have people who will raise their voices against you. And you need to have voices that speak for you. And when I read your mission statements and your philosophy, it is 100% US American, is 100% constitutional. And I think that the people of this country need to understand and learn that. And the only way they're going to do that is when you have your organization, HAF, supported. And I'm going to make a pitch also for that. You can, o you can only get a return on your investment when you make an investment. And Mihir said that he's going to go up to you and say, don't write your check yet, because he's going to ask for a double. <laughs> well, a double's always good. But just always remember that you have taken part in the political process of this country. And the only way you can do that is have a voice. And in 1942, Japanese Americans did not have a voice. Nobody said no to Congress. Nobody said no to the president. Nobody said no to the military. And because of that, this country has a dark moment in its history. And so to those who are talking about fixing the textbooks, I applaud you. Move forward. Come, uh, consider our office as helpful because I served on the, the Instructional Curriculum Commission and I know how that thing works. Textbooks is a multi-billion dollar industry and they only want to put in there what they want to put in there. And so you know that people learn history by those who write the books and write the history. So you need to be part of that authorship and make sure that your presence, your history, your heritage, your participation and your contributions are reflected in a textbook so that youngsters in this country will learn who you are, what you are, what you're all about. And with that, I just want to say, 
I just want to say to um, not only HIF but to ICC, when I heard about the opening of this community, one of the things that just really grabbed me, my heart, was the fact that it was built by your community, but it was open and dedicated to service all communities. And that's so consistent with your philosophy and your mission. And I have to congratulate you. So I can dare say that on behalf of all elected officials here, that those things that you need to continue the work of this community, those things that you need from Congress, whether it's bills, resolutions, appropriations, I love appropriations, <laughs> that we are here to help you, to do the fight for you, to be part of your voice, so that this country will be richer because we have sang in harmony with all of you and with HAF. Thank you.